Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today for Vlogmas, I'm filming a get ready with me. Um, I had some technical difficulties, so we have the much bigger camera today. My husband's ADD today, so that's what I'm filming on. So this should be fun and interesting. So I wanted to just um, show you kind of what I do when I actually do do my makeup. Um, my hair is already done, but it's just pulled up and out of the way. So the first thing I like to do is I like to get everything out that I'm going to use depending on the look that I'm going to do. So today I'm actually going to do a full face, um, so I've got everything out. So the first thing I like to do is wash my face and get all that done. I have some coffee here with me. Yum, so that's great. So today since I've got to film so many things, I am going to put a foundation primer on. So this one is the Photo Finish by Smashbox. So let's see if it will focus this way. So it's a little sample size but I don't use it very much so I figured I don't really need to buy it unless I start actually wearing makeup a lot more. So I'll just put this on um, in a nice even layer on my face. Especially on the, the parts where the texture is really off. Um, especially where I have my acne and things of that sort so I'll put that on there. And then I'll start with my foundation. So I do a blend for my foundation. So I, right now I'm using IT Cosmetics um, Cream, their foundation color correcting cream, and then I use their Bye Bye Redness. And I do actually a blend of those. So I have some Technique brushes from uh, Ulta. That's where I shop because Sephora is kind of hard for me to find around here. So what I'll do is I'll actually um, first try not to paste it down the darn sink. So I'll get some of the, the Bye Bye Redness Cream on here and then I will grab a little bit of my foundation and then I will just start to smear this on here. Yes, smear, that's what I'm going to use. Um, but now nah, something that I've really been trying to do is actually not to wear a lot of makeup right now just to try to allow my skin to like chill out. Um, I've just really struggled with acne for a majority of my life so I've been trying to really focus on figuring out what makes it inflame. I've, I've cut out dairy, I've cut out soy, um, I've tried multiple different kinds of birth control, you name it. Um, so next thing I'm going to try is... Um, working with a with uh, I've already worked with a dermatologist and I really don't want to try some of those heavy medications so I'm gonna try going to a different type of doctor um, to see if maybe we can get some results differently without me having to go on to Accutane if you don't know what Accutane is it's a very severe medication that's used to treat acne um, but you have to go in and have a blood test every month that you're on it uh, just in case that you might get pregnant especially if you're a female duh because you know men and, and that's just not something that I really want to partake in so I'm looking at all my other options before I try that so I'm gonna push this all the way to the edges all the way through so the next thing I like to do is I'll take my little blender bowl and I have a couple different concealers to just depending on what I have right now I have covergirl and I think this is Maybelline what's left of the label here and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on um, just to kind of help with my under eye. Um, those are my um, my parents' dogs. <laughs> um, I'm at my parents' house because this would not work in the RV for sure. Um, so I'll put a little bit on my under eye and I'll kind of just make a highlight for my face here. Um, I'm no makeup expert by no means, but I've kind of just tried to work and do what makes my body look good and my face look good and then I will wet the blender ball so here so in other news I have graduation coming up um, on Saturday I'm filming this on Sunday morning after technical difficulties with vlogmas yesterday so hence the big camera right now um, so and then I will be in I will be officially moved in back with my husband as of next Saturday. So we're gonna start working through moving back into the same space. Well, we've already really moved in, but living in the same space again and 
trying to, you know, just work through that because even if when you're married to somebody, you still have to work through it and, um, you know, relearn their habits because no matter what anybody says, you're a different person um, every day just because of your experiences. And so we're just going to work through it and learn how to live with each other again, which will be fine. I'm enjoying it. And then he's off for Christmas for two weeks because of his job. So it's going to be awesome. And we're going to go travel and see some family in Oklahoma, which is going to be fun. So the next thing I have is I have a, a Le Cron, uh eyebrow, bra eyebrow pencil. Um, I don't know. It's in taupe. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows just a little bit, especially right here where they're a little sparse. Um, I definitely got to go have them done, but you know, it's not a high priority. I don't look like I have a, a unibrow or anything like that. And so I'll just fill in the little, um, little gaps here. Okay. So from there, after I've done my concealer, just depending on what my goal is for the day, I'll either, um, contour my face a little bit with, between concealer and I'll use like one of these, um, uh, L'Oreal blendable crowns and I'll actually like do it but today I'm just not feeling up to that so I'm just actually going to use my um, I have a bronzer here and that's actually what I'm going to use to make a uh, contour on my face so I'm gonna grab this, this is Bare Minerals my mom uh, gave it to me I have no clue what color it is you know I'm just not this is not my usual thing uh Yep, we are staying with the des decision that I don't know what color it is. So I'll just get a little bit here and I will hit the spots on my face that typically will get a lot of sun. So I'll smile, hit the apples of my cheeks, um, right here on the tip of my nose, my forehead, my chin. And then I'll start to do the areas to kind of like help make a, uh, a little bit more contour line. So I'll hit right here in the shadows underneath my chin. Um, I'll do it right here along the edges of my face and the nose a little bit there. So that's just all I do. Okay, so from there, I will add a teeny bit of blush. And this one is NYX Rose Garden. Yes, I don't have a cap in it. I just kind of make it work here. And I'm gonna knock off some of that color to the full and then I'll just pop it right here um, and then do a little bit. There. Now I do. I am doing it really dark um, today. Typically, I'm not this dark when I do my makeup, because um, well, every day doesn't need to be this dark. But when I film, because of the lights, and also um, when we go shoot pictures, it's got to be a lot darker. So that way, when we shoot with it, it's a little bit more contrasting. So it's a little bit easier. Okay. So from here, um, I will put um, a little bit of highlighter. This is probably been my newest obsession. So I have the NYX Illuminator. And this is in, looks like it's the IBB04. So whatever that means. So this is the color. And I have a little fluffy brush here. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of it. And then I'm just gonna do it, uh, you know, kind of Whitney Simmons style, wherever the heck I want, until I have a, a serious, highlight and it makes yoga happen so and that's it for me okay from there i will have a setting powder um it just kind of depends on what i'm using right now i'm just using some ultra mineral setting powder but um, i've used their minerals i've used um some urban decay um but usually it's just like a translucent powder um and i will just use that to um, just set everything, um, at least on the for the the skin side of the house. And I have this big fluffy brush that I put it in, and I try to pack it into my skin because um, I have very oily skin. So I try to do push it into there a little bit more. Okay, so we're done with all the face stuff. So now we're gonna move on to just the eyeballs. So first things first. For me, what are we gonna do today? I probably should put um, an eyeshadow primer because my skin's extra oily today. So let's see what we have here. I think I've got one. Aha, I do. So I'm going to be using the Smashbox um, 24 hour 
Photo Finish Shadow Primer. Um, again, this came into like a little kit that I got at Ulta. And I'm just going to put a little bit on each eye just because I use a, a powder based eyeshadow to just kind of help it set a little bit better into my eyes and kind of help with the, the cracks here. Not really like it matters, but you know, to each of their own whatever they want to do. So I'll do that. Okay, so I've got that there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is put some eyeshadow on. So my favorite thing that I use is a Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. It's probably my favorite. It's been very, very well loved and um, used. I really don't use a lot of different eyeshadows anymore. This is just primarily the palette that I use now. So I am going to use probably this little snake bite color and then I'm going to do a blend of this suspect and copper booty call half baked on my eyes and maybe a little bit of foxy. We'll just kind of see how this goes here. So I'll start with uh, the crease with a little bit of a snake, snake bite here right into the crease of my eye. Um, I do try to do like a almost like a a C shaped, I guess, a weird C shape, maybe parenthesis would be a better description around my eye. So I do it right here into the crack and then all the way over. Um, now I just watched YouTube videos, learned from my mom, learned from my sister, um, but don't get me wrong, but I, I love any tips that you have um, for me to be a better makeup person. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this suspect on my, my lid here. And I'll put it start it into the corner as well. And then I'll also re-blend a little bit here. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of that half-baked. And I'm going to put it from the middle over right here. Just to kind of... Do that, and then once I have a little all the powder off, then I'll kind of start to blend it on top of my eye. And then the last thing, I'm gonna take a little bit of this foxy and kind of push it into the inner corner crease on both eyes, and then kind of open up here. Mm, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of a sparklier one in there, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, booty call. Um, color and put it right here into the crease just a little bit. It's probably my favorite. Um, some some other colors that you see that's similar to this booty call is like a champagne pop or something. Sometimes you can kind of mix in a highlighter. So once I've done that, I will take a, a setting spray before I put my eyeliner and uh, mascara on. So I'm just using this NYX finishing spray. I've used Urban Decay for a really long time, but um, I kind of want to try something else and see how this works. So I'm just going to spray it all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry really good here, fan. Usually I'll have a magazine with me or whatever the case may be. Um, but normally my everyday makeup will essentially be, um, I will put a little bit of concealer on just on the places that I need it for my red spots. And then I will do my eye makeup, eyebrows if I need it, eyeliner and mascara. And that's like my everyday look, like period. I don't try to go too overboard. It looks like I need a little bit more on this eyeball. So we're going to fix that real quick here. Yeah, there we go. So, um, but I don't really do a whole lot of makeup is just not my thing. Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to use some eyeliner. The, the one I've been stuck on for a very long time, probably about three years now, is the Stella eyeliner. I think I found this from Lauren Colin Conrad, um, whoever was on the OC, but this is the one I use. And I use a, a black black, an intense, very black black, because that's just what I like. So, and I... I do try to do a winged eyeliner, so I start about three quarters and I just kind of do little brush strokes all the way across to the best of my abilities here. And then I just build that wing however much I want it. And then do the other eye. So 
fill in my little wing wherever I need it to, fill in any gaps. I really like a serious wing, so. Mm, this one needs a little more point. And then this guy needs a little more oomph. Okay. Mm, good enough. Okay. So we've done that. So the next thing that we're going to do is curl them eyelashes. I don't do too much. I just do just enough. And then this is a little tart. Um, eyelash curler and then right now I really need to buy some new mascara but the ones I'm currently using are the Smash Smashbox Mother of Pearl runny nose today ah. okay so so Smashbox full exposure mascara and then the Ulta plush drama wow you guys can't see that so let's try this so the plush drama Ulta Volume mascara and then the Smashbox full exposure. So those are the ones that I'm using. Okay, so um, let's start with the full exposure here, and then we'll go from there. And I typically do blend different types of mascara. Yes, I am one of those that makes a face when they put their mascara on. It's just one of those things. We all have our little kinks or whatever quirks. And then I am filming, so I'm gonna put a little bit on my bottom lashes. Just a little bit of leftover here. And then I do want a little bit more on the top. So I'm gonna use this Ulta here. And that's it. Um, let's see. I think I'm actually going to do a lip color today. So let's do. I think I'm going to do this lipstick butter. And this is by NYX. Get this at Ulta. And this color is Moonlit Night. It's really, really deep, but I really like it. And then I'm just going to put this on. And mm, probably good enough. Here. Okay. And then I'm gonna just let my hair down, fluff it, put a little bit of dry shampoo in it. Make sure there's no crease. And I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little dry shampoo in and fluff it, but that's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to see next and I will catch you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Talk to you soon. Bye.